Hello, butterflies. Hello. Um, happy holidays if you're in America. Uh, this is Dinah's Tarot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Dinah. So, this is going to be a career um, pick card reading and for 2023, and it's going to be pretty detailed. Um, I've shuffled the uh, piles for one group, and um, I'm spirits basically saying that there's going to be really specific messages um, in the groups. And they have to deal with events and situations. So some of them may not make sense right away in the beginning of 2023. But as you continue further on in the year, you will, um, there will be um, experiences, situations, or events that will happen. Um, and so they're, yeah, they, they want me to relay specific uh, events. So I guess you guys can just be aware of them. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be very detailed. Uh, for some reason, when I was shuffling the cards, uh, groups of three kept coming out, even if I didn't want them to. There would just be two constant cards, three constant cards, another card coming out. So I decided to basically do three of all the Oracle decks that I have, which is a lot. So this is going to be a pretty long, in-depth reading about your career path and just where you're headed, uh, your direction, whether you know where you want to go, and this is just reassuring for you, or you have no idea, or you're just curious, okay? Um, and yeah, so yeah. Um, if you'd like a private reading for me, please check the description box below for my pricing and the type of readings that I do. And without further ado, let's get on to the groups. Hello, group one. So, <clears throat> this is going to be your career reading, okay, for 2023. So, we have all these cards. Look at all this. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, usually I start with tarot, but I'm just doing this intuitively. So, I'm just going to start with whatever cards call out to me here. And we'll look at tarot later. Um, but I feel for you, for 2023, we have ego, consideration, and energy. What I get with these here is definitely you guys are going to toss your energy elsewhere. Um, this ego card is basically about validation and um, feeling the need of either wanting to get credit for your work, feeling the need of recognition, feeling the need of validation. And I feel in 2023, you're actually getting away from that. That's something you're not going to need anymore. Because um, it says, when my selfish ego rear its ugly head, I calmly toss a Xanax and ask it to leave me alone. Um, I'm a big generous person and in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter if someone else gets credit for my idea because at the end of the day, when you really stop and think about it, the idea might end up being bad and then they'll have to take the fall for it. So I, I sense for you guys, it's like, um, you're no longer going to be worrying about maybe trying to prove yourself or trying to, um, um, yeah, be recognized for the work that you do. I just feel like you're going to move away from that. We have consideration and energy, so I, that's why I'm, I'm getting you be more conscientious towards where your energy is going to be going, okay? When I'm feeling cranky, discouraged, or worn out from this only Tuesday and ready a nightmare, I get swept up in a golden cyclone of magical, um, vibrant as fuck dust, and suddenly become the reigning champion of tirelessness. So yeah, I'm sensing you guys definitely being aware in terms of your career where your energy is being spent well and where you're wasting it honestly and with the consideration i'm considerate person and my new goal is radical consciousness from now on i'll leave every space tidier than i found it um i am sensing you guys being more considerate uh, it could even be towards yourself or towards other people um how i see you getting ahead in your career this year is, is by those small gestures that you don't think that matters so if you guys do work in like a team environment or you have a team around you um for work already this is about you being able to support your teammate in small ways and i see like that that energy is going to pay off for you in the form of good karma um in the form of of uh like um what do you call it uh you getting uh chosen for something especially once you take the ego out of it like if you're wanting to get a promotion i see in 2023 you're not going to even care about it anymore you're going to detach from it and because you detach from it it's going to come in even quicker that's the vibe that i get with that here okay so let's move on to the oracles more oracles here group one so we have the nobility 
the nobility high honor yeah um i i see i see something like um of status i do see either your status increasing or your money increasing or your respect increasing regardless of where you work or if you don't work if you work for yourself it doesn't matter um i just see status increase for you now we do have the immortal and the hope we have the consuming family and pressure of peers so in 2023 some of you guys could be feeling a bit pre like pressured by just the people around you i'm not sure if you feel pressured to be something that other people are or you're trying to fit yourself into like a hole or you know like you're a square you're trying to fit, fit into a circle and you're not you're not meant to do that um so with the pressures of family or the pressures of peers i do feel that you guys could be feeling a bit pressured um um and that is kind of when i feel that you guys are going to um Something's going to happen where you're going to detach from it. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but something's going to make you realize, why the fuck am I doing this? Uh, you know, um, th this success and this victory, who, is this really for me or is this for other people? Because there's something about public image here that I feel is is important to you. Like, obviously, you want to keep your professionalism, but I also feel like you're wondering if you're being authentic to yourself. We have the hope, anticipation, bright prospects, and wish. So definitely... In 2023, I do see hope being renewed. I do see faith being restored. There could be something in your career that you lost hope about. You didn't think it's going to happen or you just gave up on. And I do feel that that I'm hearing reignited some kind of spark or light is going to be reignited. Okay. And for some of you, this hope is something you haven't given up on. And because you've had this hope and you've had it for a while, you've been holding the candle for a while. It's like, you're going to get some wish come true. It's like the more you believe in something this year in 2023, the more it's going to come true because when it comes to manifestation, part of the co-creator process for the manifestation to come true is belief so because of this hope card some of you guys are like yeah life is really fucking hard and i want to not believe in this but i i can't i my soul tells me it's meant for me i know it's gonna happen and that that like that willpower is going to make something happen so there's going to be wishes uh coming true there's going to be like pr bright prospects like things are looking up for you things are going the right direction for you oh man i finished that interview and i feel really good about it you get a phone call and you actually get the job. It's not like, oh, I feel good about it and I didn't fucking get the job. No, bright prospects. It's like you see a bright future ahead of you. There's opportunity there. Uh, there's fortune there. There's good luck there. You know, there's positive people, stuff like that. I could go on and on and on, right? That's what I get, okay? All right, cool. <clears throat> so, all right, group. Let's see what else we got. Let's go with these guys. High honor. Again, you have the honor. High honor honor high standard that that word keeps popping out for some reason so you guys are you're it's funny because the minute you detach from getting recognition the minute you detach from trying to gain recognition is when you gain recognition it's that law of detachment the ego look at the ego is very the ego is very um i call it like uh, it reminds me of very materialistic energy where it's kind of like the ego is the type to buy that really ex expensive car and to show it off to people. The ego cares what other people think, but there's something, I just get an energy of you not giving a shit anymore. And then ex all the stuff that you've been wanting comes in because you don't care anymore. Okay. Now we have the poverty and the false person here. I will tell you this very specific message. I will tell you though, there's a false person. I don't know if it's a woman or a man. I don't know. But there's somebody who is trying to drag you guys down. They do not like the success that you're getting. Um, for some of you, I heard that I've been here longer than you. How come they're getting that? So if you are getting promoted or in 2023, if there is good stuff happening with your career, there's going to be somebody giving you the evil eye. Okay. This person is trying to bring you down in terms of the poverty. They're trying to bring you back to lack. Um, and for some of you guys, when it comes to your career, the lack for me is like unfulfilled. It, it, it's, a, it's a sense of just unsatisfied, dissatisfied, feeling homeless in your career. Like, I don't have a fucking home. I don't feel like I belong here. But then you go from the poverty to the high honor. So there's a, again, there's like, there's a leg up. Um, Spirit said stepping stones. There's a leg up and there's just like, a, there's a jump. From nothing to something. That's the vibe I get. But there is somebody with a false person you do want to be aware of. Um, and just be careful of. Um, because they don't wish the best for you. We have don't need it. We have the broom here. Don't need it. Unwanted. Unpleasant. Feel good when it's over. Unavoidable. Clean up. 
solution problems uh, solved breakthrough and we have neptune here the hangman energy new perspective so i do feel in 2023 you guys are going to get a new perspective a new lease on life uh, a new uh, i heard breakthroughs for you uh, when it comes to this hangman energy in your career and because you're going to be thinking different you're going to be moving different with this energy you're going to be moving different okay and because you're moving different and thinking different you're able to resolve stuff that was maybe really hard for you in the past uh you have these breakthroughs you're able to have the key and you unlock the key or there could even be stuff that you want to keep hidden or on the dl and you lock the key but i also sense that there is there's a lot of clarity coming to your career with this broom you're getting rid of all this like dust all this like dirt that you don't need and um um you're cleaning up and for some of you guys, what feel good when it's over, there's some situation in your career you're going to end or you're just not going to deal with it anymore. It could be something that was repetitive. It could be something that kept happening or it could be something you're just like, I'm fucking tired of this. And either you get rid of it or the universe gets rid of it for you. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's the vibe that I'm getting with that here. There is some kind of breakthrough with your career and you're going to be able to solve things a lot better than before. Um, it's like solutions and problems are just it's going to be easy for you um you definitely going to be getting help and assistance with that as well okay it could be spiritually or just in general okay so look we have award we have crown i can't make this up i don't know how else to tell you about recognition but the way you get recognition is by not giving a shit about it and then it wants to come in for you life is just like that it's like the more you want something and the more you try to grab onto it you will not get it. It will slip right through your fingers. But the minute you're like, you know what? Ugh, I don't care anymore. Comes in. Yep. Law of detachment. Okay. So we have the award, crown and face. So award said winning money, paying pay off for effort and recognition. Some of you guys, when it comes to money, money, you could be very lucky in 2023 with money. I see money coming unexpectedly. If you are, uh, like if you guys do like competitive stuff, um, whether competitive sport or game or whatever, even if it's for fun, you can actually win some money, okay? We have advancement, professional work, and fame, okay? Um, so I do see you guys advancing. This is where, this is what this nobility is. You're advancing. You could be making even more money. Um, I see you guys working on your professional image, I'm hearing. Your professional image. Yes, that's what this face is. You're working on your professional image. So I do see some of you guys changing your wardrobes when it comes to your profession. Having a very strict uh i heard a closet uh like these are my everyday clothes this is my going out clothes and this is my professional attire there's something about you splitting your professional and your personal you're taking it more seriously uh with the crown overcoming obstacles power play and wealth now i will feel there is politics you guys are dealing with if you do work in a workplace or yeah when you work in a workplace there are politics in this power play but i feel like that's not something you're interested in okay we have owner boss taking charge making progress some of you guys will become the bosses of your life this year okay not everybody but some will start their own business some will start their own gig their own thing and you will learn how to um make progress in this you will learn how to um um grow you know um and stuff like that so, yeah and but for some of you you could become like a like a supervisor manager you could have that uh, uh increase like i said here um but when it comes to overcoming obstacles i see you guys overcoming work politics i see you being protected from this but i also see you overcoming that as well okay like i said for some i do feel like somebody is going to get fired Who, whoever's causing drama someone could get fired or somebody could leave or something happens you're just like Oh my god, thank god that person's gone. That's what I get. We have face, money, skills, investor, taking risk, and face value. Now, when it comes to money, if you guys want to make some money in 2023, your risk taking is gonna be it's gonna pay off. Um some risk with money. So if you feel like you need to invest money to make money, I do feel like that will pay off. Any type of investment you feel, investor, any type of investment you feel you have to make in order to get to where you want to be or achieve something, it's going to pay off for you, okay? Uh, we have self-made, fame, exposure, and reputation. Some of you guys, when it comes to your career, like I said, the professional image, uh, people are going to see you as very humble. They're going to see you as very well-kept. They're going to see you as very competent. So that's good, okay? All right, so let's see what we got. 
Those are a lot. So let's use these. Whoop. Whoop. Where's the other one? Group one. All right. Where do I want to start? Safe and shrouded by love. Keep your heart open and know you're being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. Keep your eyes peeled when it comes to your career, uh, group one. Do not let things distract you because they will be trying to distract you. There will even be emotion that tries to bring you down. Um, but spirit is wanting you to keep a clear and level head is what I heard. Okay. Then we have diving into new depths. There's deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. That's the hangman energy because the hangman is somebody who is very introspective and they, they, they see deeper. It's not about the surface level. It's about deeper. So when it comes to your career, I see you guys becoming deeper. I see you wanting to explore deeper. You're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Or some of you guys are going to like actually dive into a specific subject or it's like if you have a major, maybe you can dive deeper into that major. There's something about you not wanting to be superficial. I'm also hearing some of you guys will be specializing in something because it's going to make you stand out professionally. And that's that's what that diving deeper is. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what you are feeling about your current situation um, and as well. But yeah, diving to new depths is I also see you exploring something new, studying that thing though. Um, so that you stand out, that you understand, you know what we need. If you're like, you know, when you're going for interviews or if you're going for, if you're applying or whatever, stand out, um, by either research, studying, or just exploring your options or just exploring about a specific topic. Um, I'm also hearing, I'm hearing employers this year are looking for, is looking for somebody who is introspective and who's. I heard in depth, in depth, like detailed, plan, uh, like a plan organized individual. I don't know where the fuck that message came from, but yeah. Anyway, enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. So there's going to be a lot of changes in your career, uh, group one, okay? Uh, your career direction and path and stuff like that. These changes are not only good, but they're necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. Yeah, they kept, they kept telling you to focus on what's going on around you so again you could find yourself being really distracted maybe worrying about the future and spirits like yeah the future you could worry about the future if you want but what matters is the now because they want you to in the present moment be in the present when it comes to your path but do stuff that your future self will thank you of and your future self needs you to be present it doesn't need you to freak out about What's going to happen or what could be. It needs you to be present and figuring out what needs to be done now. So that when you are in the future, you're like, oh my god, thank god I did that. You know? That's the vibe. Ancestor message, please. Group one. Ahem. Oracle, wait for important information. Enjoy success and happiness. Follow the voice of your soul. Give me a minute. Lots of messages are to be had this year when it comes to your career. Um, with the follow the voice of your soul, your soul is calling you to do something. Your soul is pull. It's going to be pulling you if it hasn't already. It's going to be pulling you to the point you're not going to be able to ignore it. Uh, follow the voice of your soul. Your soul is saying there. There's something I'm hearing. It's time. It's time for us to start doing this thing. Um, so if there's been stuff that you've been contemplating on, 2023 is the time where you're going to actually be taking action because you have to. It's almost, I heard, divinely guided. And when the stuff is divinely guided, you cannot ignore it. It's like literally impossible. Life will pause for you in order for you to focus on this one thing. Um, so with the Oracle, wait for important information, I see you guys still um, trying to gather more information about what's happening in your life, these changes that are happening in your life. Which is good because they're saying to explore and stay curious, okay? So I am sensing there could be just even specific information you guys are kind of waiting on. Maybe you're waiting for a process uh, to finalize and stuff like that. We have the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. So honestly, for your career, I see success and I see happiness. I see emotional fulfillment. Um, I see you going in a direction and you're saying, finally. So I hear the word, finally. Um, so I don't know what that means for you guys, but you finally either reached a destination or you finally found something. Okay. Um, mm, yeah. 
All right. Now we have my favorite cards. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't read these cards in like two years because they've been in storage. So I decided to boost them out. Anyway, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Okay, spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. For some of you guys, I do feel in terms of your career, your relationships could overlap in your career and it could distract you. Like a, there are going to be distractions. It could be a specific person that maybe you're obsessing over or it, it, it could be just, just something and it's making you obsess over it. And it, it's causing you and your goals to slow down. And your guides don't like that. So they're saying to just stop, like get off your phone. <laughs> stop. Stop wasting your time, energy. This is important. Where you spend your energy is where your success will be. So if you waste your energy on ridiculousness, you're not going to see as much success as you want. Okay? So where you put your energy is really important this year. You're giving away your power. You're a badass. Act like it. So regardless of what's happening in your career, group one, you have the ability, you, you, this, like this, inner, this is you. You have the ability to, what direction do you want to go in? I'm not really getting, besides, besides your voice calling out to you and following whatever it is that it's telling you, it's in, it's, you're in the driver's seat, okay? You're in the driver's seat. So, for example, if you're driving and the GPS tells you to go this way, but you know an easier route, then you're going to go the easier route. But if you go the GPS way, what if the GPS is taking you on a path that's super fucking long and you're just wasting a whole bunch of fucking gas, you know? So that's the vibe that I get. It's like, you know better. There's something you know better when it comes to your career. And you're giving away your power. It could be to a person. It could be a situation. It could be to some kind of maybe strict rules or something like that. But you're giving away your power to another entity, essentially. And they're saying, what the fuck are they doing? They're a badass. They know exactly... Like, what are you doing? I feel like your guides are going to be like, what are you doing? A lot this year. <laughs> well, how come they don't understand? And that's why you have the Oracle messages of the, the ancestor card here. That's why you have wait for important messages. Your guides are going to be talking to you a lot about just your career a lot. You're going to, I, I recommend, um, like, uh, for pick a card readings, if you guys like that, I recommend like watching important messages from spirit or like messages about your career or messages you need to know. I just feel like they have a lot to tell you this year. Okay. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Now, I also feel like it's important for you guys to eat because I am sensing some workaholic tendencies. You're going to need to eat. If you're supposed to have energy, how are you going to have energy if you're fucking starving yourself? Okay. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, obviously you have to do that stuff in moderation. You have to be more clever. You have to have more, you know, creative problem solving when it comes to that. But you're going to need a lot of energy. So you are going to have to take care of yourself. And with this card coming out, this is some of you guys starving yourself because you're grinding, 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 but you're being counterproductive. Because when you're grinding, 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 it's actually slowing you down rather than speeding you up. So don't forget to eat and nourish your body. Not just body, but nourish your mind, body, and soul. Okay? Alrighty, so, one more of the long messages, and then we'll get on to the tarot and everything else here. Flower speaker protected when it comes to your career path, stuff like that here. Group one. I heard writing things into existence. That is what your guides want you to do. If you haven't done any goal planning, def definitely do some goal planning, and um, do it... Um, who the fuck is that? Oh, sorry. It's a message. <laughs> uh, do some goal planning. Do it uh, like when you're writing it. Either write the goals or speak the goals into existence. That's something that's really going to be beneficial for you. We have let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. If you have issues in your career, you may be trying to figure out how to resolve them. But some, some situations are going to be resolved when you just let go of them. You let go. You let God. They have nothing to do with you until you detach yourself from them. And with that broom card, it kind of just cleans itself up, okay? Uh, with the flower, working with flowers, uh, bringing blessings, other. The flowers, for me, are very delicate. I do feel like you're going to want to have like kid gloves when it comes to your career there are going to be situations where you're kind of very you're 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 like cautious about you're going to want to really be aware of how you're moving and what you're saying with your words because there could be people who take your words um in in a different way than what you're intending so just be careful of how you're speaking 
you inspire young people to learn with the teaching, okay? So I do feel for some of you guys, if you are interested in teaching, you could find yourself in the spotlight, okay? Uh, where you're making presentations, you're making PowerPoints, you have to present. Uh, oh, you have this business proposal? Okay, well, let us have it. So that's, that's the vibe. I do see some of you guys literally like actually introducing something or like presenting information. They're protected. You're safe and supported while you change your career. So some of you guys are definitely going to be going through a career change and you're supported. You're protected. Nothing bad's going to happen. Uh, stuff is not going to fall through. When things are meant for you, they don't fall through. They actually happen a lot easier. Okay. A lot easier here. And I do feel like with this, uh, you hear inspire, entertain with the words that you write. I do feel like for some, um, you will be having success when it comes to writing. If you're interested in writing, uh, like if you're writing a book or if you're writing uh, like uh, anything, if you're writing anything, I just, I get lucky energy with that. With the teaching of writing, um, if you can learn, if you take classes on writing, I do feel like that will be beneficial for you or something like that. Okay. So if you guys are going to be learning a new skill, you're going to be taking programs, classes in 2023 to further enhance your abilities. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's look at tarot. Twenty twenty three for group one. All right, so the Seven of Swords, High Priestess, the King of Swords, we have the Nine of uh, Pentacles, Justice, and the Emperor. One, two, three, Major Arcana. Okay, it's half and half. Now you have the Seven of Swords and um, the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords to me, when it comes to career, is really about doing what's best for you. <laughs> I With the High Priestess, I see you guys sneaking out of a place. Some of you guys, when it comes to workplace, you're just going to kind of be like, I'm just going to slowly float into the background and you're never going to see me again. Like some of you guys are actually going to walk out, but you're going to walk out where it's like very discreet. I get that for some. If, if you're like, I'm fed up with this, I see you just leaving, like just very discreetly. But the Seven of Swords is about doing what's best for you. It's also about making sure that your plans um, are kind of wrapped up because with the Seven of Swords, she's leaving two, behind two swords, which to me says, mm, the plan isn't as cohesive as maybe you think. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that if you're planning things or if you're trying to get stuff moving, make sure you're looking behind you and you're not forgetting anything like figuratively and literally. Okay. The high priestess, when it comes to intuition, is about trust. So trust your intuition. Your intuition, group one, is your guide this year. Your intuition knows exactly what you want to do, where you're going to find it, where you need to go. Follow the voice of your soul intuition wha-bam okay it is going to be guiding you with the high priestess and the high priestess also has to do with timing when it comes to your career things are going to develop in in timing okay in time um there could even be things that are kind of hidden from you things that you may not be able to figure out in 2023 because you're probably not meant to figure them out this year okay or it could be a couple months and then you you figure it out but it just depends with the king of swords reverse there's a lot of stuff you guys don't know you guys do have competence with the King of Swords, though, he's somebody who's like a know-it-all. He's somebody who's very arrogant. He's somebody who doesn't listen to other people. Um, I do feel like this could be an, uh, an energy you guys are dealing with, like maybe like a boss or like a coworker who's just very fucking, they have a big ass head and their ego is the size of fucking Texas. That's the vibe that I get with the King of Swords. So I am sensing the King of Swords is also pe like who pushes people away or somebody who's just very hurtful with their words. I do feel like if you are dealing with that person in 2023, you're going to be distancing yourself from them here. But also the King of Swords is somebody, they think they know everything. 2023 is going to show you, uh, you don't quite know everything. You actually need to go, uh, maybe, you know, you need to learn about this thing or you're going to have to learn something different or you're going to have to learn something new here. It's like, don't get a big head about uh, something you're, you're, like, for example, if you've been at like a place for a long time and you're really good at it. 2023 may actually put you in a new place. It may put you in a new department where you're like, okay, shit, I've never done this before. So there's something about you exploring different things or you learning new things, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, I see money being good for you guys. I do see it. I do see you being able to financially pay your bills, take care of yourself, save money at the same time. I see a wardrobe change. I don't know why I keep getting that. I see a wardrobe change. I see you... Um, when it comes to work clothes, you guys are changing up your work clothes for some reason with the Nine of Pentacles. But I see independence. So like I said, business owners, if you wanted to own a business, run a business, 2023 is the great time to do that. Because I do see that paying off for you and you're actually going to be making money. And you're going to be like, holy shit, 
I'm making money by myself. That's why you have the crown in terms of being your own boss, right? Um, and for others of you, I see you landing a really good job where it's stable and you're able to, it, it increases your income. So I do see your money increasing for you. The justice in reverse is like things not going in your favor or bad karma here. So I am sensing there are going to be some karmic events that do happen in 2023 uh, where you will have, you're kind of dealing with people who are deceptive or people who are just fucking drama and you're just like, why am I dealing with this? It's all karmic, honestly. Okay. And with that broom energy, it's just temporary drama. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that too much. But if things don't work out in your favor, it's a blessing in disguise, okay? You have the emperor. The emperor could be uh, could be like a, a male figure or authority figure, but I get for you guys, this is you really taking charge of your career and not saying, not taking no for an answer. I see you guys being very um, assertive, but I also see you being very deliberate. It's weird energy. It's like you're being super deliberate, super cautious, but you're being very assertive at the same time uh, when it comes to this emperor energy. And I do feel like you're taking charge. So it's like, I, I see you making stuff happen for yourself. Um, I see some of you guys being impatient this year where you're kind of just like, ah, I just want shit to pop off already, you know? Um, but I also see that you guys are really going to make a lot of stuff happen in your life, okay? And uh, when it comes to your career here. Dang, man. Got that stubbornness, not wanting to let go, but you got the King of Wands. Yeah, you're very stubborn this year with the Nine of Coins. I do feel like there's something you're not going to give up on. You're not going to give up on it. You don't care how many setbacks, you're not giving up on it uh, with that Hangman in reverse. The King of Wands, yeah. A lot of passion. You're driven. You're motivated. The King of Wands makes shit happen for himself all the time. And it's exciting. I see a lot of exciting changes in your career. The Nine of Coins, to me, is persistence. It's it's uh, consistency. It's hard work. Now, there's going to be a lot of hard work you're going to need to implement. It's not going to be fucking easy. But it will it will pay off with that Nine of, uh, nine of uh, uh, Coins. It's going to require a lot of skill. It's going to require research. It's going to require knowledge. It's going to require dedication. It's going to require time. But... If you're willing to invest that, it's going to be beautiful, okay? So money, money looks good. I'm not really seeing you guys have financial issues, and if you do, it's temporary. But I see money being pretty solid for you. Now, let's get to Kuan Yin messages for you guys, and this reading is done. So we have the Armor Lease Blue. Ooh, I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that. And then Radiant Moon of Compact. I've never seen this card, so... <laughs> Can't pronounce it, but we'll see what it is. So, group one. This is about the career, please. 2023. You have won a victory, beloved. A victory over the past. Um, and through every cell of your being, heralding a rising vibration as you leave fear behind. One uh, fear behind once again. So yeah, I see some of you guys leaving some fear, some stuff that makes you feel negative. I see you leaving that behind when it comes to your career. In fact, the loot says you're growing fast and spiritually. You're outgrowing your old life even more so. When your vibration changes, so does your life. This is natural. It's safe and loving for you to release that which no longer feels right for you. Okay? Um, so it also says some people and situations will grow with you at an equal pace. Others will meet you in the next upward spiral of your unfolding life. And those who weigh on you will... What is this? Those who weigh on you will disappear in timing. So yeah, that's the vibe that I get in terms of like relationships when it comes to like your career. Some people will go with you on your journey. Some people you'll meet when you get to that next level. And then some people are you're just gonna leave by the dust because well, we're not going the same path. So why the fuck am I keeping you around energetically anyway, you know? All right, so 23. 23. I just see a lot of elevation for you. That's your word for 2023, elevation when it comes to your Spiritual strength needed for you to liberate yourself from lower vibrational energies of fear and judgment. Yes, that's what that card was here. The fear and judgment with that peer pressure card I was mentioning here. Um, yeah, it could be some of you guys are just fearful of people judging you. I see you letting go of that, though. That's something you're not going to be interested in anymore. You're just like, I used to care. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> um, you can choose to grow spiritually through the practice of compassion and liberate yourself into greater peace. Compassion does not mean becoming a doormat. Or indulging in the emotional suffering. Or even the manipulation or games that other people uh, play with you. It does not mean collapsing into sympathy. It is simply a rescue of your own soul. Okay. Uh, compassion aligns you back to your soul light. To your power. Yeah, because remember it says something's taking away your power. So this is basically about um, 
being compassionate with yourself, okay? Um, if you do make mistakes, if there's things that don't work out, if there's stuff that you feel that you know, whatever disappoints you, you need to have compassion, essentially. Spirit doesn't want you to blame yourself because what's meant for you will be for you. But have some compassion for yourself, even if you have high standards and you're somebody who have high expectations for yourself. That's okay. But being kinder to yourself. Why are you being so hard ass on yourself? Who taught you that? Because you didn't teach yourself that. That's from somebody else. So with this compassion energy, just be softer, okay? I get you're going gung-ho with your goals. That's great. But when it comes to you, just be softer. It'll do you well, okay? So that was your reading group one. Really hope that this helps you guys out in some way. Uh, when you get to 2023, please come back to this reading throughout the year. It'll make a lot more sense, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. So group two is going to be your current reading for 2023. So gonna jump right into it you have drive action and collaboration with these cards here also yes i do have more cards they're all here a lot of cards okay um i'll be doing a little bit differently i'm gonna be doing more oracle and then i'll do tarot later and end with the oracle message <clears throat> so what i'm getting for you guys is 2023 is i'm hearing gung-ho you guys are very gung-ho and driven now what i like about this energy though is that i do not feel your energy dissipating i do not feel it waning there's some motivation some willpower something you're super excited to get like going or something you're very serious about um to get going um and not get going but to maintain the momentum there's there's momentum a lot of momentum in your career um when it comes to your direction so there's a lot of energy that's going to be kind of charged forward um, no more stagnant energy this year. You have the action card. I liberate myself from the endless treadmill of procrastination. So I don't see you guys procrastinating a lot. And start taking action. Taking action reminds me that it feels good to move forward instead of running in place. So if you felt like you're in a treadmill in 2022 and you're kind of just going the same and you're not really making much progress, it's totally different 2023 here, okay? I also see a lot of networking with collaboration. You guys are going to realize that... Um, um, having like-minded people around you is really going to propel you forward. I take pride in my role as a good collaborator and look for opportunities to help support my peers' ideas rather than dismiss them outright. So I am sensing for you guys, uh, this is definitely a time of you other you and other people helping each other. Uh, let me help you. That's the vibe that I get. Let me help you help let me help you and you help me. That's that's kind of like it's like this co it's like this cohesion that I get with the other people. Um and other people are going to help you get to where you want and you're going to help other people get to where uh, get to where they want to be, okay? Networking is important. Drive no matter what my energy level is today. Uh I'm lighting I'm lightning my motivation furnace and burning with drive. Starting now, I'm the reigning badass of productivity and I'm about to blaze through my entire to-do list and then some. I love that. That is totally, <laughs> that is trying, I'm trying to be this energy right now. So I do sense you checking things off the list. I don't know where this internal motivation is coming from, but I get it being pretty consistent throughout 2023. We'll see with the other cards, but I am just getting you guys being very kind of gun to blazing. You're fucking ready to do this. You're you're like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Let's Let's get this shit done. A lot of King of Wands energy, very um, fire-focused energy here, okay? So, that's what I get so far. Okay. So, Group 2, 2023 Career Path Direction, Olya Diaz. You have the internal youth, energy, newness, and vitality. I do see your career uh, becoming new. I do see more vitality. So if you have been struggling with drive, if you have been struggling with energy, if you have been struggling with like the masculine uh, side of making shit happen, <clears throat> I see you guys changing into that. Okay. This is some of you guys are starting out with this energy, but some of you guys are going to develop this energy as 2023 progresses because you may be lazy in the beginning and then something kind of changes where you're like, I got to get, I got to get shit popping. What am I doing? You know, that's the vibe that I get with that eternal youth and energy this is just about newness uh some of you guys are going to be changing jobs to something new or you could be just doing something new with your career um creating new products services if you do work for yourself or um i don't know with the vitality i just get more freshness and i just get more motivation okay it just keeps coming out a lot of motivation um 
exploring something new, discovering something new. Now, you have the aggressor tracker provider with the hunter in the reverse tier, which is interesting. Um, so I am getting with the hunter in the reverse tier. There's also a sense of discernment when it comes to your career about knowing when to take action and knowing when to take a step back. So I am sensing for you guys, there is a lot of go, 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 but you can't go, go, go all the time because you have to be aware of what you're go, go, going towards, you know? Um, there, it, it, it's about timing with this treadmill and getting a, a, an issue with timing or just like it's about the right time. Um, so I do feel for you, you will fall back uh, when it comes to taking action. Spirit is saying taking deliberate action. They're saying purposeful action not taking action for the sake of taking action but taking action in a direction you're wanting to go right it's like conscientious like you're you're planning you you know where you're going rather than just going so i'm not really seeing impulsiveness from you guys when it comes to your career i'm not seeing impulsiveness when it comes to your money even when it comes to your money and finances you could just be feeling really cautious or um a little bit more methodical or just slow which is not bad uh, it keeps you from getting in debt. <laughs> we have nightmare, psychic protection, shield, and bad dreams. When, when it comes to your career, you guys are psychically protected. I'm not sure if you felt in your career, maybe you felt that uh, there was a lot of negativity or maybe you just felt that there was like bad karma or you just felt that you were stuck. I'm getting a sense of if you felt like you were stuck, I'm getting a sense of you getting out of quicksand. It's like some something helping you get out of quicksand with this nightmare card. Um, also, whatever it is you're fearing about your career, I don't see it happening. Um, so there could be some fears you have that you think is, oh my God, he's going to fall apart. No, I'm not, I'm not, no, you're shielded from that, okay? Um, you, some of your dreams are going to be a bit weird, and for some, it is warning you of something in regards to your career. But that's only for a small few of you. I'm not really getting that as a big message. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. So, we have the bad health. We have expectation. And we have family room. Just give me a minute here for group two. Yeah. You guys are definitely want to, it's about moderation group two. It's about moderation and balance. Yeah, goal, checking things off your goals, your, your goal to-do list is great. However, you have to take care of your body. Your body is your vehicle. You have to take care of your body. Bad health. This is about you falling into bad health, getting sick, okay? Catching a virus. Your immune system is down. You're gung-ho, but are you giving yourself, like, are you nurturing your physical vessel? Are you putting gas in your car, aka your body? Um, I see you guys going to bad health, okay? I see your health uh, declining because you're not taking care of it. You're putting your eggs in one basket when it comes to your career, and you're forgetting about your self-care. Do not do that. Do not do that. That is going to be... The thing that is going to kind of slow down all this really fast energy that wants to come in. Almost like I'm getting Eight of Wands energy. And it's great. But if you're not smart, it will smother you. It will absolutely make you feel exhausted. Where you're going to have to take a rest. You know how it's like, sit your ass down. That's the vibe that I get. The universe is like, okay, you're doing too damn much. Now you need to sit down. And then you guys are in sick and you're kind of like, fuck, I think I went too hard. <laughs> So that's what I kind of get. Just be aware of that, okay? Make sure you take care of yourself. Self-care is a priority. It needs to be a priority, okay? Without self-care, you can't make the money you want to make. You can't you can't accomplish those goals you want to make because your fucking body is like, no, I'm not moving, okay? I need some rest. So we have the expectations. I do see you guys waiting on an important message. I see you taking action with something. So I see you, like, maybe applying to something or... um. If it's a documentation, providing whatever information, and I see you having to wait with uh, uh, expectations, needing to be patient. Underneath the aggressor, it is a sense of uh, the lesson is patience. The lesson is it's going to happen, but it is a process. So there's something about a process that I feel like you're going to be dealing with when it comes to your career here. Um, just something important you're waiting on. We have the family room. To me, this is more like... To the family room is more like a room. You are going to be in a physical location in uh, 2023. You are going to be in a room. You could be interviewing, maybe waiting for that. Or you're going to be in some important environment um, that I feel is, is, is um, 
for some conducive to you and for some it's not there's there could be a toxic environment that is is kind of draining you so i do feel like that's something you want to look at or for some it's just like an important interview room that you could be in or just an important room you get called to a room about something important that's the vibe okay um yeah alrighty. now i'm actually going to clarify this tower card here because i don't feel like the tower is going to happen for everybody um why it only for people it needs to happen to so why is this tower here when it comes to their career okay got it all right got you okay so we got the moon um um okay let me see give me a minute I see for you, group two, you're going to be starting something, like, at the start of the season. So, the start of 2023, you're going to be kind of starting off on these goals already. Inner knowing, intuition, higher knowledge, dream, uh, guarded secrets, uh, high priestess energy. Um, I see you guys keeping a lot of your ideas to yourself. Because it says ideas person, but you have the high priestess moon energy. You are going to want to keep a lot of ideas to yourself. You could tell some people about what you want to do for 2023, but don't, like, tell everybody about your plans, Okay. Um, I do feel with intuition and inner knowing, you you guys are going to kind of know where to go, what to do, what to change intuitively, or, and, um, your guide is those emotions you're feeling. It is that, that small voice in your head, okay? It, it is those ideas. Oh, this would be pretty cool if we, you know, it's that small little voice that's going to be guiding you in 2023, so please listen to it, okay? And then you'll know where to take action. Now, the tower says... Um, desire, anger, survival, sudden change. Um, now when it comes to this, for some, I do feel if you have been super disappointed in your career path, and if you're super not invested anymore, if you're really confused, I just see a massive upheaval in the sense of your direction. It's just, it's just basically like where you are just wasn't working. And so the universe comes to step in. And so when I clarify the tower, it's because there's a stalemate. There's no progress, there's no change, there's no growth, there's no evolution. You've been feeling blocked. Now, if you don't feel this way about your career, I don't get this tower energy happening for you. This is only happening for people who feel stuck. Okay, that's where the tower is coming in from. Yeah. And then also clarifying is the transformation and change. So yeah, active renewal. Some of you guys are going to get a huge renewal on your career path. That's going to be moving you towards the right direction here. Okay. Like I said, if you already kind of like the path you're going on, that's not happening for you. It, it, it's going to be some kind of change, but it's not going to be as fucking dramatic. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the vibe that I get with that. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Um... Whoop. This one here. Bam. 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 You know what's crazy? I've had these cards for three years. Never seen this card. Never seen this card. And it's from this deck here. They just came out and I was like, oh my god, I've never seen I've never seen these cards. Never. Nope. I don't know how every time I flip through these cards, there's just more cards I have never seen before. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we have let your personality shine. It says you have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Okay. Stop comparing yourself to other people and allow your uniqueness to shine. So for you group two, this is really about you understanding what makes you special. What understanding what makes you unique. What are your strengths when it comes to your career? What are your strengths when it comes to work? What are your strengths when it comes to who you are as a person? What are your weaknesses? It's important for you to be, have self-awareness to know what you're good at. And this is about you letting your personality shine. So it says, uh, stop comparing yourself to other people. It's like you're comparing your, it's like you're comparing a plant to like you're comparing a palm tree to a fucking skyscraper. They're completely different. It's, it's a sense of like spirit saying like you guys are weirdly comparing yourself to things that are not even on your level. It's like if you're comparing a skyscraper to a palm tree, they're not even in the same category. What are you doing? Spirit's like, if you're going to compare yourself, at least compare yourself to people who are on your level. That's the vibe that I get with that here. It's like, I don't know. You got apples to oranges. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what they're saying here. And it's not even a level of like, somebody has more money than me. It's about vibration. It's about energy. 
that's what that th that's what they mean by that okay but yeah let your personality shine stop holding yourself back group two um let yourself be yourself be authentic to you okay stop con uh, stop conforming and stop compromising your values to not rock the boat if you value honesty and integrity and there's shit that happens in the workplace make sure you're authentic to yourself now for some of you that tower card i do see some people in your company getting fired i do see some company going through an upheaval for sure um so that could be what that tower card is as well um and yeah there could be a lot of changes happening in the company that you work so that was a random message that came through. Uh, keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. So when it comes to your career, be uh, careful not to move too quickly. I get you feeling excited, but make sure you are crossing your I's and dotting all your T's because there could be a situation you find yourself in and you're like, holy shit, I didn't do my research on this. I'm you. You end up in a sticky situation because you didn't do your due diligence. That's what I get with this card. So make sure you're keeping it. That's why this beaver is looking. He's looking, you know. Says pay attention to what's going on around you. Make sure you know exactly what the fuck is going on. Where you're at and where you're headed. Okay. Now, we have gentle moderation. Take your time. Yeah, take your time. Don't rush. Do not rush, please. Do not rush. A lot of this, this fast energy is going to make you want to rush into stuff. Please don't. Um, pressure from others or yourself can be realized by renegotiating what you're actually trying to accomplish. So I feel for you with gentle moderation, uh, what pressure from others or yourself can be realized by renegotiating. I do feel like when it comes to your career, some of your guys, your career goals are going to be changing. And that's okay. Goals change all the time. This is about you renegotiating, reconsidering some stuff. Because maybe you're like, huh, well, I didn't quite fact check that so let me do that real quick um and i do feel like um you're going to kind of be um realigning certain things um just so that they fit you better okay so that they're more authentic to you not having goals for the sake of goals because society told you to have these goals but that you actually want to accomplish these goals okay um ancestors Ancestor message 2023, we have Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. So, for you group th uh, two, uh, when it comes to your career, this is not necessarily, your ego is, don't let your ego fuck you up, okay? Don't let you needing to be right be something that causes you to fall back. Um, like I said, if there is drama with people, um, and let go, let go of the need to be right. It's not worth it. So, I'm, that's what I'm hearing. It's not worth it. And also, the bad health could even be... Um, if you insert yourself into drama, it's just really going to have a negative effect on your health and your guides want you to fall back, okay? Um, we have the Shaolin Master, be graceful in movement and action, and then we have release the old and the rest, and rest. So, yeah, I do feel for you guys, do not, do not stick your nose where it doesn't belong because it will drain your energy, okay? You will, you will find yourself more slow, more lethargic feeling just super fucking tired. You're just like, why am I so tired? Um, so just be careful of where you're inserting your energy, okay? But be graceful in movement and action. I do sense that um, this is you guys needing to move deliberately. Make sure your actions are purposeful when it comes to your career. Don't take action just because you don't be impulsive. You will fall into a karmic lesson if you're impulsive. Just be deliberate. Be graceful in your movement. Release the old and rest. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to need some rest. There's a lot of, you're going to need some sleep. You're going to need some rest. Um, some of you guys are going to use a lot of PTO this year. Uh, and it's just going to be necessary. Okay. Group two. Money, finances. Okay. With the gold nugget. So I do see small increases in your finances. Nothing too crazy. Valuable information and honest assessment. I see you guys honestly assessing like your financial situation or where you are in your career. If it's if it's where if you if it's where you want to be and if it is, how can you you know progress further? And if it's not, how can you change that? Uh, it says fresh start, steady work, and career building. So you guys are okay for some of you guys. If you're students and you graduate, you could be like career building uh ex uh, gaining experience having a fresh start in that industry and just kind of building yourself up 
um, or if you guys are, um, some of you guys are going to be changing the industry when it comes to jobs and you're just going to be building yourself up. So wherever it is your industry is, I see you slowly building yourself up. There will be small increases of like money uh, here and there, nothing too, nothing too crazy, but I am sensing with valuable information, you're going to just be learning a lot. It's like you're, it's like you're kind of like a, an, an, an intern, but you're a paid intern. So you're getting paid for it, but you're also learning a lot. So that's what I get with your career. Sword, money conflicts, cutting corners, and breakthrough. For some, if you do run into financial time, financial difficulties, uh, because these small increases, but it may not be something that like is substantial or something that's really uh, something that you want. Uh, there could be money conflict about you fighting over money with yourself or your finances or whatever, or like with creditors or debt collectors or, you know, shit like that. Just be careful. That's why I'm telling you to be deliberate with your money because if you're fast, you're going to make some kind of mistake. You're going to put yourself in debt. You're going to be like, fuck, how am I supposed to get myself out of this? Okay. So just be careful of that. Okay. Um, cutting corners. Don't cut corners this year. Um, do things by the book. Yes, I know it takes more time and it's kind of annoying, but you do not want to get caught. The swords energy is usually about con. It's about conflict. It's about people combating. He said, she said, I'm right. You're wrong. You don't have time for that shit. Okay. So it says cut defense or being fired. So like I said, I am sensing someone getting fired and I don't know if it's you or if it's other people in your environment, but there's some fuck shit going on in your workplace or there will be in 2023 and you're going to see some bitches leave and you're going to be like, whoa, I was not expecting that. So that's what I get. We have Clover, lucky break, gamble, good fortune and chance. So I do feel when it comes to your money, money's just going to come in for you when you need it. Okay. Um, and I do feel like uh, there, the lucky break is just like, and I'm hearing an opportunity and a door opening for you. And you're like, wow, now I'm able to make money from this. So there's something that it's like, I don't know if it's something you tried and it didn't work out. And then you try again. Or if it's just like, it's, it's a new door opening for you and you're like optimistic. And you just have more luck coming to you financially. Um, if you're practicing financial abundance, I do feel like that is de definitely going to be paying off for you. If you practice an abundance mindset this year. We have finance and we have outdoors, risky business, and surprises. So there's going to be a lot of financial surprises and blessings for you guys this year. Okay, cool. All right, so moving on to my favorite cards ever. Hold on. Drink some water. Oh, okay. All right, so we have... um. You think someone's lying, don't believe every shitty thought you have, some good shit's about to happen. So, when it comes to your career, your mind is going to try to play tricks on you, okay? Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be lying, sneaking bastards. There's a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing, and your guys just really want you to kind of just think about it, make a choice, and move on. Do not overanalyze yourself, because if you do, you will overanalyze into stagnancy, into not moving forward, or into old patterns. So do not believe every thought you have. Just because you have a thought of like, oh, I should do this, I should do that, I should do that, I should do that. Yeah, that's cool. You have all these ideas. But practically, where's that going to get you? When it comes to you implementing stuff like the Page of Pentacles energy, it's better to focus on one thing at a time because all these ideas are just going to keep you stuck. So you don't have to believe. And it also, every shitty thought you have, is those dark negative thoughts, negative talk. I can't do this. I can't make money from this. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Your guys don't want you, don't give power to these thoughts. It's not true. You think someone is lying. They are. So when it comes to your career, when it comes to the workplace, I don't know what the fuck's going on. But if you think someone is lying, they are. However, because they say with the peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. It's up to you if you want to call somebody out on their bullshit. It's up to you. Know that if you do, there are consequences that have to do with your energy being taken away. What does that mean? I have no fucking idea. But everything has a consequence, okay? So if you want to be a peace, peace, peacekeeper and maybe tell a higher up that somebody's lying or somebody is uh, unfaithful or somebody is, uh, um, you know, doing something they're not supposed to do, there are repercussions for that. So it's, it's up to you if you want to deal with that or not. Now, we have... Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So, <laughs> I love this card. I do feel that there is, like, there's a lucky break. There's there's some really great breakthrough. However, you could have other stuff happening in your life 
that is kind of either clouding it or it's going to ruin it. So for example, say that you're like, say that like you're somebody who is looking for work and you have a really important interview. However, that night that you're prepping for your interview, maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever, texts you and you guys get in a fight. Now you're fucking depressed and you're crying. You have an important interview the next day. And for some reason, you decide not to go in. You're letting your issues fuck it up. So, don't let your issues fuck it up. There is an opportunity in you for 2023. Multiple opportunities, actually. Do not let your personal life fuck it up. Keep your personal and professional life separate. Okay? Because whatever this opportunity is, it may not come around again until quite a while. So, that's what I hear for you guys. Okay? Just remember that. Group 2. Career direction, career ahead, freedom, travel. Some of you guys are going completely independent. You're going completely independent or the direction and path you're on is leading to independent work and being an independent contractor or being a business owner. That's what I'm hearing for some. You're able to travel, do what you want. Some of you guys, whatever path you're headed, it's actually toward portability where you're able to just do your work on your laptop. Some of you guys could get a remote job this year and it gives you more freedom. Some of you guys are going to um, take a program, a class, or a learn a new skill that's going to help you and propel you into freedom where you're going to get a remote job I don't know it's like it's like learning coding and then you're able to live wherever because as long as you have a laptop you can do whatever that's what I get okay so that's what I get for that and for some the answers you're seeking involve going back to school so yes if you happen feeling like maybe I need to go back to school and I'm not talking about university um, it could be university if that's something you're passionate about and that's something you really want to do, then sure. But there's, you know, school is trade school, uh, learning a trade, um, or it could even just be um, some online class, uh, uh, get, gaining a certification from online classes and, and stuff like that, or like a, uh, a organization or a website, gaining certification or gaining certificate or information or a skill or whatever, you know, it's not just about university. So that's what I get for you. Okay. And if you do that, you will have a lot of freedom because I do feel like your job prospects will be increasing if you do that. Now we have support, let go and builder. And the main message I get for this says your life purpose to fully supports you. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. I don't know why, but I feel like 2023 is going to test you when it comes to your morality. There's just going to be a lot of stuff that pop up. And your guides really want you to just walk away from it. They want you to not deal with it. They want you to distance yourself from it. But for some reason, you're feeling guided to or you're feeling propelled to say something, to do something. And you can, and that's fine. But with the let go, you have to realize what's your energy and what's not your energy. You have to really realize what, like, there are some things that you should invest in and you should say, you should talk about, but sometimes you just need to mind your own business because it's just best for yourself. That's why it's a morality issue. It's a moral issue that I sense for you guys, okay? Um, I don't know why the fuck that keeps coming up. Um, but with the let go and other freedom as well, for some of you guys, when it comes to your career path and if you feel like it's not working and when you, if you feel like you're pushing too hard for it, you just need to let go. When the freedom says you're free to do what you choose, but I also read that as do what you love. If you choose to do what you love, things will get easier for you. If you're choosing something because someone else loves it, things will get harder for you. It's about your soul, soul's path, your life purpose, okay? It's about what you want to do, not about what anybody else wants to do. They had their chance. And if they're living, if they're, they're, you know, working their dream job or if they're working in a place that they love, great for them. And if they're not, well, they fucked up. Why does that have to, what does that have to do with you? Why do you have to go with the path that they're telling you to go? That's not fair. They had their chance. Now it's your chance, okay? That's an important message. Someone's guide's very passionate about that. Anyway, we have your innate, innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So I see a lot of you building something. Um, you're starting something. You're about to build something. Um, it's, some, it is brand new, but for some, you've been on this path for a while and you're building something pretty substantial or you're just building a reputation, like a good reputation, or you're just building skill sets or you're, you're building something. Okay. Um, and it's going to give you like emotional fulfillment. 
and make you feel very accomplished and proud of yourself. Cool. Tarot, moving on to tarot. So, group two. Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I see you working a lot. You guys are going to be working your tail off this year. Four of Wands, love it. Beautiful environment. Wow. All these fucking cards are upright. Holy shit. Wow, that's great. Wow, I love that. And you have the Chariot. Chariot, Prince, uh, uh, Knight of Wands, Temperance. Wow. I was not expecting this. Okay. I just shuffled these cards, but I didn't see them. Okay. Um. Group two. I see you guys going to a new environment. Eight of Pentacles is working on your craft. Like I was saying, all this skill building. Really going to get you to where you want to be. Uh, with Eight of Pentacles. If there's something you've been hammering at and hammering at and hammering at, it's going to pay off. But you're really focused on your work. The Ten of Wands is you guys are going to have a lot of responsibility this year. Okay? You have the experience for this. So you are very competent with whatever path you're choosing for yourself. You're competent. Whether it's new or old, you're competent uh, with the Ten of Wands. So there's responsibility here. It's a bit heavy, but you can handle it. The Four of Wands is environment. The Four of Wands are relationships as well. So I do feel for you guys, there are a lot of, you're going to be building a lot of new connections this year. A lot of new settings, environments that are going to be in your life this year that are kind of destined. You're like, you know, like kind of like, uh, like destined colleague, destined work relationship, energy with the Four of Wands. Celebration with the Four of Wands. I got a new job. Bam. Celebration. We have the Knight of Wands. This is about um, feeling very passionate in what you're doing. And you're, you're just naturally motivated this year. I love it. You have the Chariot fucking hell remote job <laughs> or travel that's the travel card as well some of you guys are going to get a, a new job but you're going to have to travel a little bit further than you like but you're going to you know, you're going to do it anyway because you know can't always have your cake and eat it too it could be a bit annoying sometimes but you're like you know what i really enjoy this job so i'm just going to fucking wake up earlier than i need to uh so i could get to work on time we have the temperance balance so i do feel like your career is getting balanced man 2023 is definitely putting you on the path to, for some of you guys, you will find, for some of you guys, you will find your life path in 2023 and you're going to love it. For some, you're already on that path and you're going to find more stability, fin financial stability, relationship stability with coworkers and um, um, employers and stuff like that, but also your environment is more stable. For some, you're not going to have a fucking environment because you're going to be on your computer all the time. But you could travel. You have that freedom. Okay? For some, you're going to be building up some kind of new um, industry that you've uh, studied in. And you're kind of building your reputation. I see you getting hired at a like a, a workplace. And I see you building up your reputation. The temperance is about things falling back, uh, uh, being balanced, falling into place. So, I love that for you guys. Love it. Now, in this reading, we have a message from Kuan Yin. We have the Yin Empress. So let's see what that has to do with for you guys for group two. This is a long ass reading. We have the Yin Empress brings peace, prosperity, and success to her beloved devotees. Your sole purpose includes healing and empowerment of the divine feminine, um, the Yin energy herself. You gain power and assistance and untold blessings in following your sole purpose. That's why I said, yeah, you do what you love and shit just falls into place. Yep. You are lifted and supported. Yep, pretty much. Um, this will explain why at times you feel you do not fit in to your current culture. You're not meant to. Because you're meant to help it grow and change. In the same way uh, that beloved Kuan Yin had a rebellious and compassionate streak. And did not fit into the world in the way that she was supposed to. Or people told her she was supposed to. Uh, your soul yearns to make a real difference in this world. To help it be free of the fear uh, that leads to competition and dominance and power struggle. You're being asked to live in your divine feminine power. Which to me, divine feminine is basically about receiving. It's about receiving. You guys are very gung-ho. But you're also going to be receiving a lot uh, when it comes to your career. Let things come to you as well, okay? No one to take action. No one to fall back. Yeah, that's what I get with that, okay? So that was your message, group two. I really hope this was insightful and really helped you guys. Please watch this reading again. 
throughout 2023 and it's gonna make a lot more sense okay thank you so much for watching wish you the best till next time hello group three welcome to your reading 2023 career ahead okay messages so we're gonna start with these oracles and then i do have tarot here tarot and i have other oracle cards we have a lot this is a long reading a very long reading okay look at all this shit look at all that all right um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started all right <clears throat> so let's see what messages come out for you guys hold up let me get organized okay so we have listening energy and value i feel for you group three 2023 when it comes to your career active listening is something that i feel is really going to help you guys okay it says, when I start to zone out or feel the urge to interrupt, I remind myself that it's better to tune in and really listen to the person and to what the other person is saying, because without good attentive listening, I won't be able to shoot. Wait, what did they just ask me? Um, interviews. You're going to be going on a lot of interviews, or you can go on a very important interview that it is important to listen to the question, not thinking about what am I going to say? How am I going to answer? Spirit wants you to be in the present moment for some reason, okay? Um, and I feel like this is a specific event or situation in 2023 that they just want you to, they want you to remember this. Um, re listen to the question and then answer in a conscientious manner, okay? Um, because I am getting a sense of some of you guys fumbling on your words or I get a sense of you not answering the question or you... Um, um, being very verbose and being very wordy that you haven't answered the question because you didn't fully listen to the question. Um, so I feel like that's something that's really important in your career, especially when it comes to interviews because I'm sensing interviews specifically. Uh, we have value. Um, and this is about knowing your worth, knowing your value, and knowing what you bring to the team. I'm a valuable member of my team and I bring a unique component to this job. When it comes to you guys applying and like finding work or whatever it is you're trying to do, Communicating how you will be bring value to a company is really going to highlight you and really going to get you the job because I feel like you knowing what is unique about you or you knowing how you benefit a team is really a lot of people don't know what they're good at. And um, it's going to help you to stand out and not be so fucking generic, okay? It also says, I will not accept any self-conscious doubt about whether or not I belong here. And all inner questions about my own worth must be submitted in writing. So yeah, this is really about you getting out of your head uh, when it comes to your career as well. You guys are worthy. You have a lot of value uh, to provide um, other people. And as long as you can get out of your head you will be able to kind of see this. I see you guys really kind of like in 2023 realizing how much value you have and how much value you can give. First, you have to recognize that. Then you're able to uh, you're able to communicate that. That's the vibe. Energy. Um, I'm a channel for the infinite supply of energy that flows through the universe. When I'm feeling cranky, discouraged, or worn out, I get swept up in a golden um, I get swept up in a golden cyclone of magical glittering vibrant as fuck dust and suddenly become the reigning champion of tirelessness so when it comes to your energy i do feel for you guys in 2023 20, uh, it is important about um designating where that goes you know how like i hear a lot where people are like make sure your money has a place to go make sure your money has like your money has a job right when you get money it should have a job it should go here it should go there it should go there that's what i give to your energy um it should go here it should go there it should go there make sure that you are prioritizing your energy Okay, so yeah, interesting message. All right, so let's move on. Good three. All righty, group three. Let's see what we got. Got call for help. Free will. Burnt by the sun. Burnt by the sun in reverse. This is ambition. This is says ambition extension and reach. Um, I do feel like your lack of confidence could be something that kind of hinders you in your career path. And I do feel like your confidence is something you're going to be working on. Because this is being burnt by the sun, this is like, well, if I, if I reach out, I'm going to get burned. Uh, so this is kind of like the past. Your past could be holding you back because it's like, well, if I try to apply again like I did, I'm going to get rejected. There's something about that that your guides want you to stop. They want you to stop kind of like... 
uh, projecting the past onto new situations, you know. It's kind of like when people do that with relationships. They meet a new person and then all of a sudden they're like, oh my god, but what if this person does that to me? Because because all people are like that and they did that to me and oh my god. Like, that's the vibe that I get with that here. As long as you know your value, you know what your worth is, you know what you bring uh, to a team. I do feel like with this burnt by the sun energy, this is something that could be mitigated, okay? You not feeling like you have a reach, you not feeling like you can be expansive, that is just in your head. That's not real. You have the free will, uh, independence, and free spirit. So, And when it comes to your career, uh, you have the energy and you have the free will. This is basically saying you can do whatever you want. You can go where you want. Um, you're not going to be feeling constrained. And if you do, it's from yourself. There's not going to be any external influences or people that are going to be trying to hold you back this year. You will be holding back yourself if you do feel stuck. It is in your head. It is, it is that negative uh, self-talk. That, that's what's going to be holding you back. It's not people. It's not a situation. It's not an environment. It's not even a contract because with this free spirit. You, have the, you could go wherever you want. We have the call for help. Reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. So I feel like you guys are going to be asking for help in 2023. And I think this is really good for you because other people could also be telling you your value and what you provide. You may not know that. And other people could be kind of um, um, letting you know that, oh no, you're really good at this. And you know, you really helped me through this. And I get you guys, I get, I get you guys being surprised how much you've helped people. I get you being surprised of how much you brought other people value because simply they didn't say that you know um it's kind of like when people are like oh my god this is great blah 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 blah. oh my god thank you so much you helped me you're like cool I don't really know how I helped you because I can't see it and I can't feel it but cool I feel like this year something is going to showcase itself where you're going to realize that wow I really did help somebody out and I also feel like with the call for help you're going to know who to go to for help um, there could be some kind of mentor you contact. There could be somebody that you respect or somebody that knows what they're talking about. And I do feel like this is a person that's going to be helping you throughout 2023 when it comes to your career. Okay. Admit your needs is admitting that you can't do everything by yourself. Admitting that you don't know all the information. Right. With the need for backup. So I see you guys reaching out to somebody. Somebody specific, but somebody of respect. Somebody that you trust. Okay. And doing that active listening, somebody's going to give you a, a, lot, a really good advice this year. And if you actively listen, you will succeed. You will get something you want this year. Okay. If you listen, you will get what you want this year. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. Here this person is. They're Gemini. They're, they could be a man. They don't have to be, but there's a person who's really going to help you level up this year. They're going to give you really good advice. Gemini energy. Geminis are really fucking smart. Geminis are super smart. Um, they're super quick-witted. They're really good at interviews because they just know how to answer questions. So um, if, if you guys have interviews, I do recommend you practicing with somebody or practicing with friends or practicing with somebody you trust. I feel like that's really going to go well for you, okay? Um, but yeah, talkative, adaptable, mental, yeah. Uh, with the lovers, this is somebody around you. It, it, it's like a it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's in your soul family. This is somebody around you who wants you to do good. And I do see you calling this person for help. Um, and if you don't have this person around, you'll, you will meet them in 2023. Okay. Now we have the dolphin, uh, effective communication. It's all about effective communication. Like I said here. So for you, group three, I feel like your career has to do with personal relationships. It has to do with how you're coming across to people. It has to do with if you, whether you, un whether you understand your self-worth or not. And then it has to do with how are you showcasing your value to people? Um, yeah, presentation. How you're presenting yourself to the world, like the magician card. Like, I feel like the magician card is kind of like your guys' theme for 2023 when it comes to your career. Playful humor, fun, and collaboration, and joy. Yeah, so other people are really going to help you. Um, you're not going to get to where you want to be by yourself. People are really going to come through for you. Um, and I also feel like with the joy, peace, harmony, helpful, I just get not taking it too seriously. Try not to take your career too seriously. You're going to get to where you, you're going to get to where you want to go, but have fun along the process. Gemini energy is very playful. Um, Geminis are always trying to make light of a situation. They're always trying to joke around. So, you know, just have fun with this energy. Have fun with the, um, the, um, yeah, there we go. Have fun with the progress. Okay. 
we have the grounded fertility lineage past life roots personal growth there's a lot of personal growth in your career a lot of personal growth that's going to lead to career development i see you guys working internally and that's going to manifest externally in your career okay um, i'm almost getting like the king of pet uh the king of the queen of pentacles energy for you guys you guys are really going to work on your self-confidence and this is going to showcase in your career because you're just going to be feeling more confident in yourself and other people are going to be like i can really trust this person i feel like this person's going to do a good job you know if it's a position you want oh i feel like this person's competent okay um so i see you evolving with your career just like a tree a tree and how it you know a tree grows i see you guys kind of not flourishing but i see you um about to thrive or learning how to thrive okay a lot of resources information helping you thrive you got a lot of people you got two men here they could be really important in your um in your life in 2023 privileged lady which is whether you're a woman or not doesn't matter um there's people and these people there's people who want to help you and i, I see you guys leveling up because other people you have this mature man okay uh older man maybe it's an employer and a no but i do feel like there's somebody who's going to collaborate with you guys somebody who's going to see your value somebody who's going to give you a chance you are um, looking for new work new opportunity it's coming in the form of people pathway is a new pathway opening up for you guys and it's more stable and it's more grounded and the pathway with the, with the changes so i do see a lot of you guys your path is either going to change or you're, you're going to have new doors open up for you so if you are on a track and you actually enjoy your career and you're not miserable i do see new opportunity new door opening up for you new ways of uh collaboration and networking with other people um if you're somebody who's lost and confused you're going to finally finally have like the judgment card where you're gonna know this is what i meant to do if you're super um just um irritated and you're just like i, I just i don't want to fucking do this anymore a new door and a new path is going to open up to you and i do feel like you're going to choose that direction okay that's what i get it's a beautiful path it's a new path new doorways we love new doors yes we do Also, with the previous lady, this could be a status increase. Or there could be some kind of, like, either wealthy woman or just a woman who knows her shit. And she could be a mentor. I see you meeting a Gemini person. A man or woman. It's it's somebody, though. And they're a Gemini. Um, and they know their shit. It's like, it's like meeting the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Not surprised that. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out. Group three. Career ahead, please. Okay. There's change uh, coming your way, shedding the old. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see new prospects. Yes. So it's about your mindset. Um, Spirit really wants you to get excited about your path ahead. That pathway, get excited about that pathway. It's full of light. It's not darkness, it's light. So they really want you to shedding the old. What is the old? It's your self-esteem. It's your negative talk. It's it's whatever that negativity stuff you've been working on, whatever issues you've been working on inside yourself, that's what the old is with the lobster or the crap, whatever fuck this is. I did the lobster. Uh, it's about shedding your old skin, right? So that you can see these new prospects. If you have your old shell on, if you have your old clothes on, it's hard for you to become someone new. I also am sensing for you guys, when I said clothes, spirits recommending to, to, um get new wardrobe for you specifically for some reason when you buy new shoes or you buy new clothes it makes you feel better it makes you feel new makes you feel different do that whatever makes you feel fresher a new do it okay we have rediscover your zeal pay attention to the passion you're feeling for discovery so you guys are going to be feeling very curious when it comes to your career path or just when it comes to stuff in general that lead to your career that lead to you feeling a, a, a lot more abundant inside um yeah pay attention to the passion you're feeling for discovery for learning for exploration spirituality for travel your work or your relationships so there's rediscovering a passion for that maybe some of you guys are like i have a knack for really helping couples you know like through their problems like i, I don't know i kind of want it you know i kind of want to be like a therapist or i kind of want to be a counselor but i wasn't sure about it but i don't know i'm kind of feeling like maybe that's the vibe i get it's like uh, for some, it's something you put on the back burner that you're going to rediscover you're really good at. Or for some, you're, it's just something 
completely brand new. You didn't know you were good at, and you're just like, holy shit, I'm actually pretty ga- damn good at this. Maybe I should really look into this. Passion and desire go hand in hand, especially as inspiration. So I see a lot of inspiration. I see a lot of uh, you feeling motivated. Uh, yeah, and just explore, man. Some of you guys need to travel as well. You need to travel in 2023 because 2023 is going to expand your mind and it's going to open your mind. Traveling is very beneficial for the soul because it just helps the soul get out of their little box that they're always stuck in and just to feel the world, you know, experience new things and stuff like that. So definitely try to travel, Group 3, um, in 2023, whether it's short distance or whether it's long distance. We have Mutually Beneficial Venture. There is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. I have never seen this fucking card. What is going on? I've had these cards for three years and this card has never come out. And we have shared inspiration at the bottom. That's freaky. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time to constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So you guys are definitely going to be meeting some kind of soulmate business partner. When it says venture, when it says mutual, mutual means two, right? Beneficial is good and venture is like exploration or it's like an adventure. Um, some of you guys are going to go be, be going into business with maybe a friend or a family member or somebody you're close to. Uh, maybe somebody you used to work with starts something up and they're going to be like, hey, you want to join us? Um, there's something mutually exclusive or beneficial you're going to be joining. And that's why I keep sensing people for you. And shared inspiration is you have a shared vision with somebody. Um, so it could it could be just like uh, somebody you meet and you guys have the same goals um, or, or you have the same plan or some of you guys are meant to... Um, thrive in a partnership with, um, a business partnership or something like that. Cool. Group three, angel, I mean, ancestor message. Yeah. Shed your old skin. Shedding the old. I don't know why this message keeps coming out for you, but I'm not about to repeat myself. So just know that this is important. In order for you to get to the new, you have to shed the old. You can't do the same shit. You can't wear the same uh, shoes. You can't speak the same way. You have to be different. You have to change it. And that's why the knight is here. Because the knight is brave. The knight is authentic and they're honest. So be brave and be honest with yourself. And your ancestors are saying when it comes to your career. Um, even if, when it comes to your direction on you know, choosing what you want to do. And maybe for some of you guys, what you want to do, it's kind of scary because you're like, well, I don't know anybody else who's done this before. Be brave. Bravery is always rewarded by the universe. Not stupidity. Bravery. We have a- um, the eagle. See from a higher perspective. Um, so I also feel for your career. Spirit really wants you to make sure that you're not trapping yourself in the small details of stuff. You're looking at the overall bigger picture. Why am I suddenly feeling this way about a particular path? Why is this path I was on not working out? You want to ask yourself those big questions. You want to see the bigger picture, the more spiritual purpose of why stuff is happening in your life, okay? It's going to help you really get through uh, tough times or uh, confusion, okay? Cool. Group three. Money, 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 secret stash. <laughs> I heard offshore account. What the fuck? Save pennies. Find. Ooh. Ooh, group two. Okay, group three. You know, it's gonna be okay. Group three. I'm not sure if you're going to be interested. Only if you're interested in this message, because I've been doing this for a while and I've saved a lot of money. Um, Try saving challenges, group three. Saving pennies remind me of saving challenges. Saving coins that you find in your car, in your bag, I don't know, in your bed, between your couches. Try to do a savings challenge to have to do with coins. And at the end of the year, you'll be fucking shocked with how much money you waste just by coins. So if you could do like a savings coins challenge, I honestly feel like you're going to be like absolutely like floored with how much money you actually save through coins. You know how like you, you go to the store, you get change, save those chains, get like a jar and put your change in a jar. I fucking guarantee you by the end of 2023, you're going to be floored with how much money you actually um, save up, how much money that you actually have in coins. And try savings challenges because it says secret staff and uh, finding money. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be finding money randomly. Maybe you'll find money off the street. You'll find uh, a bag you haven't used in a minute. And you're like, holy shit, there's a $20 bill. I see that kind of happening. I see money popping up randomly for you. But anyway, we have acting assistance, hidden potential, and unknown. 
you, so I do feel like you guys are really going to discover some kind of hidden talent that you have. And it's been hidden because either you didn't know about it at all or you suppressed it. Just depends. With the acting and assistant, if you guys want to work in showbiz or if you want to work in the public sector or with media, if you could be some kind of assistant or apprentice, I do feel like that is going to be really beneficial, beneficial, really beneficial uh, for uh, gaining experience. So only if that message resonates. We have crown, uh, overcoming obstacles, wealth, and power play. I do see you guys definitely, when it comes to your finances, taking charge of your finances, okay? I see you guys saving a lot of money too. Please save money. Save money, okay? Do saving challenges. But overcoming obstacles, when it comes to your wealth, I do see you overcoming that, okay? When it comes to like maybe like a big bill, I do see you guys getting, uh, being able to pay off your debt and stuff like that here. But I also see with the owner boss taking charge, making progress, some of you guys are going to become your own boss or learn how to become your own boss um, in 2022. And it doesn't always have to be a business. It could just simply be taking more control of your finances and feeling more financially savvy. It could be taking control, taking control of your career and no longer feeling lost. So it just depends. And reward. Winning money pay off for effort. So your effort is going to pay off. Whatever energy, whatever dedication and time you put into your career, it's going to pay off. If you give more effort to something, it will pay off. Even if that effort doesn't seem like a lot, if it's different from what you usually do, it's going to pay off. Advancement, professional work, and fame. I see your guys' professionalism rising, and I see you building up a really solid reputation for yourself. So you guys can receive a certificate. It could be like an award, like maybe you're graduating or you have a certificate of completion or something like that. Or hell, maybe it's just something that, um, uh, like in the workplace, it's like, oh, this person is like the most reliable or best employee. You could have stuff like that this year, okay? Cool. Group three. breaking out these cards my favorite cards ever stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person just fucking stop spend your time on some someone worth it don't waste it on ridiculousness so another group had this this basically is about distraction uh when it comes to your career um i kind of feel like your guys don't really want you to get in a relationship this year because i do feel like 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 you're gonna be on fire when it comes to your career and then like if you get in a relationship like it's gonna like you're going to be fucking obsessive. So <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If you want to be in a relationship this year, do what you want. But um, it is going to be important for you guys to kind of streamline your attention. I recommend having your professional and personal life separate. But I am sensing some of you guys obsess over something or someone. And it's going to distract you from your career goals. Okay. So that's what that means. Now, we have this dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. Now, when it comes to your career, this is basically about being a know-it-all. When it's like your head's in your ass, it's kind of like thinking you know everything and you're literally missing the obvious. So, do not allow your ego to slow you down this year. Do not allow you knowing about a specific industry, a specific method, a modality, a skill, you know, being cocky, being like, yeah, I already learned this. Maybe some of you guys need to go back to the basics and learn the basics again. Don't underestimate the basics, okay? With this card, I'm definitely feeling like get your head out of your ass pronto because you look ridiculous. So don't make yourself a fool when it comes to, oh, no, I already know about this. Or like going into an interview, man, this shit's easy. I got it in the bag, right? And then you don't get the fucking job because you were cocky, right? That's the vibe that I get with this card. So just be careful of that energy here. And we have, love this card, you're the shit, don't forget it, okay? So you guys are the shit, okay? When it comes to your career, be confident in your abilities, be confident in the value you provide. You know your worth, and if you don't, you will realize your worth. And because you're the shit, be careful of that cockiness. Maybe you're really good at something, and everybody tells you you're good at it. You try to do something, and you're just like, Psh, I got this in the bag, I'm gonna fucking win this, and then you don't. <laughs> so you know so just be just be careful of that cocky energy okay careful of that cool all right career direction ahead for group three group three 
Yeah, I also heard the stuff you think is super easy, that shit's not going to be easy. It's not. It's going to take a lot of effort. That's what I heard. Okay. Um, so, three, here we go. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, give me a minute. Books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Author. If you guys are in publishing or if you're in like the book community or if you're in like the book industry, if you have to do with writing, I do see some like changes happening with that. I do see advancement happening with that. You have a book inside you that wishes to be expressed. I do feel like uh, creative energy when it comes to writing is going to be really good in 2023. So definitely work on that. Some of you guys are going to start a new project that has to do with writing or books. Or also there's going to be a book that finds you this year. That has to do with career. Maybe it has to do with uh, whatever issue you're having in your career. If, maybe you could find a book about it. And I feel like that will be really bene beneficial for you. Help is going to come in really many different forms. So be open to help. Okay. Now, energy healing. Your natural. Uh, some of you guys could go into a spiritual field where you do energy Reiki. Or you learn about chakras and all that shit. Uh, maybe that's something you're naturally good at. Some of you guys have natural healing ability when it comes to energy or energy work or stuff like that here. Um, that could be something you're good at if you're interested in it. Um, but I also feel like cleansing your energy and maintaining a uh, a cleansed ritual of your energy is really going to help you. Uh, mind, body, and soul with your mental health and that is going to benefit your career. Okay, People always forget. You have to take care of yourself in order for you to have a good career. I mean, yeah, you can work yourself to death, but you're going to have a short-term career. Uh, you're going to have short-term uh, success. Uh, longevity comes from taking care of yourself, you know? Uh, we have strength. I also feel like with the strength card for you guys, you guys need to get active. Um, your body needs to get, you need to build up endurance and you need to build up stamina. Physically being active. Yes, I'm talking about exercise. I'm talking about stretching. I'm talking about working out. I'm talking about meditation and stuff like that. But I'm also talking about physically active. Because I do feel like your body um, wants to get stronger. Um, and when your body gets stronger, uh, you got the blood flow going in your muscles and all that stuff. Like, I just feel like it's going to benefit you guys, okay? So if you could get into some kind of routine. And it doesn't have to be anything fucking crazy. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to get a gym membership. Only if you want to, okay? You can simply go to YouTube type in Pilates and do a goddamn five minute routine or something, okay? Or if you're trying to grow your ass, you know, you have these glute routines that you can do. But you need to get moving because I do feel that if you're, um, if you're feeling lethargic, that's really going to affect your career goals and your drive and your energy, okay? We have body work for some. If you are in a physically, like, if, you, if your career has to do with, like, physicality, you're definitely going to want to build up that endurance, build up those muscles. Like, if, if you have to, right? It's funny because it says massage therapy. I wonder if this is my group. <laughs> Energy healing, bam. Uh, physical therapy and exercise training. So, that is definitely something that is just going to be really beneficial for you. Counseling. You heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. Um, I do feel for some of you guys, you are going to be going into the profession of helping other people through words, active listening, um, and, and being supportive. Uh, or with counseling, some of you guys are going to go to counseling. Maybe you go to career counseling. I don't know. Um, but I am sensing for you, uh, there is going to be a lot of assistance uh, coming to you guys in the form of other people and media. Media. Okay. Cool. Let's move on to tarot. Group three. Group three here. We have the seven of coins. Wait, is that the eight of pentacles? Oh, it's the eight of pentacles. My bad. Eight of pentacles, the magician, the ace of pentacles, a lot of pentacle energy, very focused on career. Six of uh, wands, page of cups reverse, and uh, justice reverse. I really get you guys are really going to finally work on something, do something, go into the direction of something you're really passionate about. You've been repressing this with the Page of Cups. You've been repressing your uniqueness. You've been repressing your creativity. You've been repressing something with the Page of Cups. 
uh, because it didn't fit the mold. Or maybe it's not something you have to focus on at the time in your life. Maybe you have other stuff to focus on. Uh, but I am sensing repression, and I am sensing that's something you're going to be able to actually move forward on, whatever it is you've been repressing. The Magician, I'm not fucking surprised. I knew the Magician's <laughs> going It's funny, because I didn't even look at these cards when I shuffled them. But the Magician, public image, persona. Thank God it's upright. So I will tell you, if you have confidence issues, you will be resolving them in 2023, especially when it comes to your competency, your skill level, uh, and the work that you do. Your public persona with the magician, you guys are going to be very radiant or you're going to be very magnetic. People are going to be very drawn to you. Also, it's upright. You're going to be speaking very well. You're being an effective communicator. And that's going to get you the job because you have the ace of coins. And you have the six of wands. <laughs> so it's what I was telling you in the beginning. What I was saying to pay attention to how you present yourself. That is how you're going to get the job. That is how you're going to ace that interview. That is how you're going to be remembered. Knowing what value you can provide to a company. Why you should hire me. Because I provide value. What kind of value do you provide? Knowing that is going to get you the job. Ace of coins, I see a new job for you. Okay, that's it. <laughs> new job, new opportunity, uh, more money. I see money increasing for you guys, a new way to make money for some of you guys. You're in the public more. Uh, so you're like, you know, you're with customers or dealing with customers or clients more. Uh, and I, I'm also hearing tips and being generous. So I don't know if there's like, People are going to be very generous with money with you or something. But six of wands, you have a victory. Absolutely, victory. This is being chosen for something, being picked. Love it. Eight of Pentacles is working on your craft. Okay. The justice in the reverse is the sense of, damn, I didn't get it. If something falls through and it's not what you want or you didn't get what you wanted, if you get it, if you go on a job interview and you don't get it, that's not the right job for you. Because the Ace of Pentacles is coming in. Ace of Coins is more solid. This job that you wanted and you didn't get, you weren't actually going to stay there. You were going to stay there for six months and then it would have become toxic and you would have to look for something else. But because it didn't fall through and it's a blessing in disguise, now you have this ace of coins where it's a company that not only can you see yourself working at, but they align with your values as a person. They align with your career goals as a person and it's going to help you grow even better. You understand? So just know that what's meant for you will be for you and what falls through was never meant for you in the first place, okay? Get a few more. We're going to move on. Death card in the reverse, which is resistant to change. So some of you guys could be resisting these changes. Yeah, like I said a lot of good shit, but honestly, is this stuff easy to make happen? No, of course it's not. Change is fucking uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable, but it's important. The death card, some of you guys may want to leave maybe a work situation, but you can't quite leave yet because you have unfinished business. So make sure you wrap up everything you need to wrap up. Uh, you may want to leave, but you still have karma with this company or with this place um, and making sure you're wrapping that up. Now, if you want to leave a place that's hard to leave uh, with the energy, if you can do some energetic meditation that has to do with cord cutting or that has to do with releasing tox toxicity or negativity, that will help you uh, alleviate yourself from a workplace that's toxic. Just a random message. Here, three. Six of Pentacles is not getting paid what you're worth. Your investment and the time you're investing into a company is not worth it. A four of Wands. I see some of you leaving your workplace because it is just not worth it. It not only is it toxic and people don't even like each other, they don't fucking get along, but you're not you you get you deserve to get paid better. And the Ace of Coins is a new a new offer. So if you guys are like, fuck, um, is there any opportunity out there for me? The answer is yes. Ace of Coins will come in um, and, and, and the right timing here with the Emperor here as well is about you guys taking charge when it comes to your career. It's about you guys really being a leader, but other people are going to be seeing you as a leader. They're going to see you as very competent this year. And that's why I feel like very confident for you guys to like um, land a new job. A new job that you actually care about, though. With the Ten of Pentacles, too, with this instability in the Page of Swords, some of you guys feel like it's not worth fighting for. Some of you guys have been in a career for a really long time. I'm talking about five plus years, six, seven, eight, fucking 15 years, and you're just like, you know what, I'm not, I don't want to do this anymore. And you're going in a new direction, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Bam. Kuan Yin here. So we have the Reveal the Peacock Beauty. So what does this have to do with your career? Group three. Let's see. Okay. In Kuan Yin, we have the Beauty of the Peacock is breathtaking with stunning lush color unfolding in a graceful manner. You too are a great beauty. 
within you reside a glorious divine inner light the peacock beauty speaks to you of your creative energy rising to sublime your creative energy that you've suppressed here new inspiration and new levels are increasing your intention decisions and particularly your words are becoming more powerful magician because the magician speaks things into its ex existence manifesting opportunity for yourself uh being careful with your words your words are very powerful so be careful of what you say okay as the soul grows spiritually the creative energy begins to rise what once would have been more instinctual creativity beautiful in its own way becomes inspired and sublime adding more depth and healing energy you can begin to create divine beauty through your words and through your actions uh ask the power of the throat chakra okay your throat chakra yeah throat chakra is all for you in 2023 your words your words that is all that is about your words mm -hmm. so if you guys are feeling repressed because page of cups in reverse is also about being repressed with their words not being able to express that's something you're going to be working on that's your karmic lesson for 2023 is about speaking up okay speaking your desires speaking up showcasing yourself through words okay so very interesting reading really hope this helps you guys out in some way hope it gave you clarity please refer back to this reading throughout 2023 it'll make so much more sense to you okay thank you so much for watching i wish you the best till next time